The report authored by Professor Kwabna Frimpong Boati accused Kojo Opon Kroma of organizing a secret meeting of MPP and NDC journalists on February 8, 2020 in Dodowa to discuss a strategy to bring Professor Kwabna Frimpong Boati down. According to Frimpong Boati, the outcome of the meeting led to subsequent negative media reports about him. But in a response, Kojo Opon Kroma described the claims as completely false. According to him, he only attended a Pinkback event organized jointly by the Bank of Ghana and Pinkback on financial reporting and never held any meetings to out anybody from government. Quote, Indeed, the facts are that it was Professor Kobna Frimpon Bwati himself who wrote to the Ghana Police Service in January 2020 reporting the loss of some excavators and calling for an investigation. It was Professor Kobna Frimpon Bwati himself who in subsequent media interviews mentioned that the number of excavators missing was about 500. Again, on or around February 20th, 2020, it was Professor Kobna Frimpon Bwati himself who at Parliament House engaged in exchange with media about the said excavators and promised that they will be found, unquote. Kojo Apon Kroma continued, quote, For the record, these are the matters that occasion media reports about Professor Kwabna Frimpo Bwati and the said excavators. Further, it was Professor himself who was later to be seen in videos making comments about the anti galamse fight and the release of excavators, unquote. Kojo Apon Kroma, in his response, further stated that, quote, I, Kojo Apon Kroma, was not responsible for his initial police report his subsequent interviews, and any of the claims he made. To be clear, it was Professor Frimpon Boati's own reports, interviews, and videos that generated his media challenges around the time. I'm thus disappointed that he would, in his document, seek to blame me for the media reports. Unquote. The information minister concluded, and I quote, Over the years, I've had nothing but great admiration for Professor Kwabna Frimpon Boati's public-spirited works and an inspirational citizen of this country. I feel gravely offended over the false claims he has made and the hateful conclusion he has sought to exert about me precisely because of the great esteem in which I have held him. I trust that in the coming months and years, he will reflect deeply upon his own actions and comments which have led to his challenges. He should kindly leave me out of his personal fight. I am utterly disappointed, but I forgive him. Unquote. Meanwhile, the director of operations at the Jubilee House, Lord Kome, who was also cited in Professor Kamna Frimpong's Boatin's report, has also reacted. In a statement, Lord Kome says, quote, My attention has been drawn to a 37-page report purported to have been written by former Minister for Science and Technology, Professor Kamna Frimpong Boatin, who was chairman of the anti ministerial Committee on Illegal Mining. The report said to have been submitted to the chief of staff cite me as an example of persons supporting or engaging in illegal mining. For the purposes of setting the record straight, I wish to state without shred of doubt that I have never engaged or supported illegal mining as contained in the said report. There is no point before, during and after the appointment of the said minister have I called, text or even assigned anyone to seek favour in respect of engaging in illegal mining to warrant this unsubstantiated allegations against me. I therefore challenge him to prove beyond reasonable doubt claims I was either promoting or engaging in illegal mining or I'll use available legal means to protect my hard-earned reputation. Until proven otherwise, I would urge all to treat the claims of Professor Kobna Frimpon Boateng with the contempt it deserves.